Hey guys, Miss Michelle here. I cannot believe that Easter is already this Sunday, so I thought we could do a couple fun Easter crafts this week, and I'm going to read the book Llama Llama Easter Egg. Llama Easter, Llama Spring. What does Easter morning bring? <gasps> Chocolate bunnies, jelly beans. Eggs in yellows, pinks, and greens. Time to hunt with careful eyes. Llama finds. A big surprise. I don't think those are eggs from the Easter Bunny. First a crack and then a leg. Something's coming out of this egg. Llama Llama Easter Egg. That was not an Easter egg after all. It was a bird hatching. All right, guys, look for a couple of our fun Easter themed crafts coming up. Hey guys, Miss Michelle here with our first Easter craft. I have chosen to do some crayon resist Easter eggs. You need one piece of paper, one white crayon, a set of watercolors and a small amount of water, which I've put in here. And let's get started. All right, guys, so our first step is going to be using the white crayon to draw our Easter eggs. And it's okay, my friends, if you can't see them because we are going to discover them very shortly. So I'm just gonna make a few different eggs around here. Make some different designs. Okay. You can spread them out if you want. You can put them all close together. It's totally up to you. All right, I think I've done enough egg drawings, so let's move on to the next All right, guys, now that we've drawn our eggs onto our paper, you're gonna dip your paintbrush in the water. You can choose any color you like. I'm gonna start with blue. And then you're going to paint on your paper to see where your egg is. And it looks like I might have found one. All right, let's see here. Oh. Apparently when I drew my egg, I did not make a perfect circle. It's a little bit more difficult to do one-handed, but I do my best. All right, so you can use various colors. You can use all the same colors. It really just depends on what you and your child feel like doing. You could do this with your child by placing the letters of the alphabet on your crayon resist egg and then having your child identify what letter you've drawn. That one was smaller. You can do various sized eggs. There are a numerous amount of activities that you could work with with this one crayon resist activity. We'll unearth one more egg, I think, and then I think we should have quite a few. And there you have it, guys. A super simple, fun Easter activity to do with your kids while we are in this unfortunate quarantine time. Thank you all so much for watching my video and I hope to see you soon, bye.